Peace, man. Listen, Harry Makim here. Black Thought Live, Mecca Media Entertainment. Hey, man. I'm going um, to name this video The Man Woman Dynamic in Front of the Kids or in Front of the Children. Yeah. The Man Woman Dynamic in Front of the Children. Okay. Now, we got to understand, man, there's two things that's happening. If we're, if, you, if we're blessed enough to be a child in the household, of the man and the woman or mommy and the daddy you as the daddy or you as the mother have to be in tune with the reality on how special this situation really is because i'm gonna be honest man, i'm one of the many that was um raised with just uh, by a single mother but i am definitely um not one of the many who didn't partake in raising his so you know as from that experience of not having a dad actually educated me and um, pretty much put the style on me to want to be in my kid's life from day one. So listen, man, the, but the thing that a lot of people don't take in tune is how important the male, female, or the man, woman, or the mommy, daddy dynamic is in front of the kids, okay? So, you know, I'm just gonna name a couple of things, man, that I think is important, man, to never forget when you're raising kids because the kids is, is straight up looking. Number one, is to set a realistic um, idea on how the house is going to be ran, as far as who's going to be the leader. That's right, who's going to be the leader and who's going to be second in command. That's the truth. Because if a child is seeing this power struggle going on between mommy and daddy, they nine times out of ten, man, they're going to see it and then they're going to mimic it. Because then, you know, the first thing a child learns is his first learning style is to mimic. And we'll talk about the mimicking later, but so you definitely have to um, put in, 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 in play the roles. The man is gonna be the man, or the, and the woman is gonna be the woman. Somebody has got to be the lead, period. For the sake of the arguments over and over. Somebody gotta say, okay, this is over. Somebody gotta say, okay, we're gonna make a left. Somebody gotta say, okay, you know, somebody gotta be the authority in that situation so the kids can see it. Okay, that's number one. Uh, number two, I believe um, in the male and the man-woman dynamic is to try to have the father participate as much as possible in both kids' lives. Both is very important. You got the man showing the, the guy or the young man how to be a man. You got the woman showing the young woman how to be a woman. But there's another thing I keep in mind, I keep saying the male-woman dynamic. Because if, yeah, it's cool to want to take care of your son, raise your son, and hand him some jewels and stuff, but you got a young lady in the building, your daughter, that's watching. So you have to um, be able to look at your daughter and treat her the way you think a queen should be treated so she can have that experience firsthand. But more importantly, she got to see you treating your woman like that so she can see how a man treats a woman firsthand. And I'm telling you, it trickles down to the respect factor with the kids in the house. So that's important too. And the same thing with the daughter. Yeah, you giving her knowledge that she can't get in college, a little understanding from her for her planning, but you cannot treat the husband or the dad less than a king because she sees that and what she's gonna do, she's gonna think that's acceptable behavior and start treating him less than a king. I mean, start treating her dude less than a king because she's going to think that's normal. So I'm telling you, man, that's mad important, man, is to make sure that you're cognizant of how you're treating your dude or how you're treating your woman in front of your kids. That's the male woman. That's, that's the male woman dynamic, man. You know, that's just part one to this video, man. I don't want to make my style too long, man, but it's going to be a part two coming up, man. We're going to get we're gonna get right into it. Until the next time, have some fun and get something done. And most importantly, feel me before they kill me.